have you ever looked at a super cheap smartphone and thought, wait, how does this thing have such an amazing screen? Vibrant colors, deep blacks, incredible contrast, that's AMOLED, and it's no longer exclusive to premium flagships. It's now showing up in phones under $200. But here's the twist. That gorgeous screen might be hiding some uncomfortable truths. The AMOLED invasion, how we got here. A few years ago, AMOLED screens were a luxury. You'd only find them in high-end phones like the Samsung Galaxy S series or premium iPhones with OLED panels. The deep blacks, vivid saturation, and battery-saving potential made them the gold standard. Fast forward to today and boom, AMOLED is everywhere, including phones at half the cost. So how do we go from elite to everyday? The real reason AMOLED got cheaper. It comes down to two things, economies of scale and manufacturing innovation. As demand grew, companies invested heavily in production. More factories, more suppliers, more competition. The result, lower prices. At the same time, new techniques emerged to make AMOLED screens faster and cheaper, like using alternative materials, streamlining fabrication, and improving yield rates. Just like how flat screen TVs became affordable, AMOLED followed a similar trajectory. The more you make, the cheaper each unit becomes. But wait, what's the catch? But before you get too excited, here's where things get murky. That beautiful display, it often comes with a price, not in dollars, but in compromises. To make room in the budget for that AMOLED screen, something else has to give. That could mean a weaker processor leading to slower performance, less RAM, making multitasking a pain, fewer or slower software updates, plastic bodies instead of durable metal or glass, and even cut corners in quality control or thermal management. So while the screen might be premium, the rest of the phone, not always. The longevity problem. Another issue, durability. Cheaper phones often come with limited warranty coverage, lower build quality, and poor repairability. That AMOLED display may be beautiful, but if it cracks, it's very expensive to replace. You might as well buy a new phone. And guess what? That's what manufacturers are banking on. The environmental cost, let's talk about something we often ignore in tech, sustainability. Budget AMOLED phones are not designed to last. The cheaper components wear out faster and repair options are limited. Worse still, AMOLED panels are harder to recycle due to their layered structure and the materials involved. More discarded devices mean more electronic waste, already a massive global issue. So every flashy cheap phone might come with a hidden environmental footprint. Democratizing tech, a double-edged sword. Mm. It's not all doom and gloom. The rise of cheap AMOLED phones has democratized access to premium tech. Millions of people worldwide can now enjoy high quality visuals and smoother displays without needing to spend 800 plus. For casual users, those who just want good media playback, social media or basic photography, these phones are a great deal. It's a massive leap in accessibility and for that, the industry deserves some credit. What should you look out for? So if you're considering buying a cheap AMOLED phone, here's what you should keep in mind. Check the processor and RAM specs, not just the screen. Look at the software update policy, or lack thereof. Research battery life and build quality reviews. Consider the brand's repair network and warranty, and think about how long you realistically expect the phone to last. In the end, AMOLED in budget phones is a technological win, but it's not the full picture. Yes, you're getting that rich, immersive display, but also be aware of what's happening under the hood and what might happen in the long run. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button, subscribe for more straight up tech breakdowns and ring the bell so you never miss the truth behind the tech. Thanks for watching and remember sometimes what shines the brightest has the most to hide.